Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today I'd like to show a little tool to help better visualize the results of a auto track and help identify some simple kinds of problems. So here's our shot. We'll just quickly run the auto tracker on it. And now you notice we have a whole bunch of trackers and there's a, a large repeating texture here, this brick wall that is, is typically going to cause some problems. And if you look, you can see some things shooting around. And the question is really what's going on there in detail. And with all the color, trackers being the same color, it's a little hard to see. So what we can do is just run this script that's called randomly colored trackers. And now we've got a different color for each of those. And it's easier to see what's happening. So let's go and hone in a little bit. One spot we'll see here. This purple tracker here you'll see goes diagonally back and forth. So you can clearly identify that that's one single tracker that's moving instead of a couple trackers coming and going. Similarly, we keep on going and we can see these two trackers here are actually moving along the brick wall together in tandem. And as you, you know, as you look through this shot as a whole, you can see other sorts of things where things are either going well or not. And it's easier to see based on this tracker coloration. So similarly, here's a slightly different shot. Again, we've got some trackers up here. Everything looks good. Let's go and do our tracker coloration. Now if you look in the lower right hand corners of these windows, you'll see that the trackers actually change color sometime during the shot. And what that's indicating is that there's just one frame in each of those somewhere along the line that that particular spot isn't being tracked. And as a result, there are two separate trackers, one before that spot and one that's after. Normally you wouldn't see that. Here you can see that and identify that as a place where we probably want to just combine those two trackers together to form a single longer tracker that will better constrain the overall solution. Once we've done the tracker coloration, we can go back to our origi original colors just by hitting that view control there and so now we've got back our original coloration so if we set up some colors originally to do grouping of you know trackers on one building being another color another building the other color whatever that's sometimes helpful we can switch back and forth between these two using that uh, particular checkbox uh, on the menu there you can also uh, affect them directly from the tracker control panel just by uh, selecting all the trackers, right clicking in that little uh, color square and that will reset them all to their original colors even for the secondary channel. So this is a helpful little tool in visualizing exactly what's going on. We always want to be able to take advantage of you, the artist's uh, capabilities, and this is one little tool that I think makes that easier to do. So take care and enjoy.